Hey, and welcome back to week two of our decluttering bootcamp. In today's video, we're getting rid of 15 things from the bathroom. I'm gonna put a link down below to the free ebook where you can download the list of all the things we're getting rid of over the next four weeks. It's over 50 things in total. And this week is all about the bathroom. And honestly, a lot of this is gonna be trash too, but it's harder. Decluttering the bathroom is so hard because these are these are all linked to our appearance. And especially as women, we feel insecure and we're looking for products that are gonna make us feel good about ourselves. And we buy them and we try them, whether it's wrinkle creams, makeup, nail polish, hair products that are somehow gonna fix our flaws. And this is why this is so hard for me because you see a pile of junk, I see hope that I can fix the things about myself that I don't like and failure because it didn't work. Right? When we have products in our bathroom that don't work for whatever reason, it's a constant reminder of our flaws and they have to go. We're going to start with the first thing on the list, which is trash. And this is gross trash, okay? This is things like used makeup sponges, things in your drawers that are sticky, that are covered in goo. We're just looking for trash. The next thing we're looking for is empty packages. So why do I have this box for this curling iron? I don't know, or empty bottles. Inside my shower, I found three empty shampoo and conditioner bottles. Anything that's like a package you've opened and taking something out, why are you keeping the package? Maybe this is just me and I'm gross, but look for empty containers. This next one's gonna be really hard for me and that's unused beauty tools. And what I mean by that, it could be anything from eyelash curlers to tweezers, but for me, this is so dusty because you know I never use it. It's things like fancy exfoliators, you know, that have never been used or used once. I buy these tools, these gimmicky things like this vibrating toothpick. The next on the list is really easy. It's old toothbrushes. So I just got a new toothbrush. I don't know why I have the old one. Sometimes I keep them because I think I'm gonna use them to clean, but I have some in my cleaning kit. All right, next on the list is unused cleaning products. I actually don't have any in my bathroom. Shocker, but take a look under your bathroom sink. Maybe you have cleaning products that you bought that you thought you would use, and now they just go under your sink to die. It's time to get rid of them. Next on the list is dried up nail polishes or nail polishes you don't use. I don't ever wear nail polish. And look at this hot mess sandwich. I'm not gonna find anything in here. Probably why I don't wear it. But I do have all these like, I guess there's stickers that go on your nails that I bought at one of those home parties years ago. Next on the list is expired bug spray and sunscreen, which I don't have in this bathroom, but you might have. And again, that's an easy thing. We're easing into the hard stuff. The hard stuff is coming. I'm hurting. Just in, I'm looking at the list and I'm, I'm dying inside right now. Okay, sunscreen and bug spray. Next is travel toiletries. So anything that you've bought because you've gone on vacation or we have like, I have like samples and stuff because I go to Sephora to fix my face and they give me all these samples that I don't use. Any, those type of things, they actually add up to a lot of clutter. So you should have a basket for travel, if you travel all the time, for travel toiletries and anything that's like little samples and stuff that's just in here, it's gotta go. Now we're gonna hunt for perfumes and lotions. It's getting harder, okay? Because you probably got a lot of gifts, you know, Bed Bath & Body Works, at Christmas, everybody's getting you smelly lotions. I thought Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin would smell amazing. It does not, okay? It does not. And so, but you hold on to them because you feel guilty, because they're expensive, because maybe you use them one day. And there's other things, like I just have so many tubs of lotion. So I want you to hunt. You might be hurting like I'm hurting right now. This is hard. I'm struggling. You guys, this is so hard for me, but we need to be pushed out of our comfort zone, right? Okay, lotions and perfumes are leaving. Now we're onto vitamins and supplements, which again is so hard for me. So you guys know I had weight loss surgery. I have to take vitamins every day and I buy them. I don't always take them or I buy them thinking, I saw a naturopath, I got all these oil, it's so gross, but I spent like $100 on this. And so I'm keeping it out of guilt and shame. Guilt and shame, there's a, there's a trend going on here. But every time I look at it, it, I feel bad about myself for not using this. 
So it's toxic, it's negative, it's a bully in my bathroom every morning. This stuff is bullying me. If I don't use it and I don't love it, the only thing it's doing is taking up my much needed space and taking away from my self-esteem. This is the hardest one of all. You can see I'm leading up to this and you could probably feel my anxiety through the camera because it's makeup in the wrong shade. I have wasted so much money at Sephora and at the drugstore trying to find makeup that will make me look like a Kardashian. Guess what? I don't, I'm not a Kardashian. So there's no makeup on the planet that's gonna fix my face. And so I've wasted so much money. I have two things of makeup here. I forgot I even had this one. Why is this hard? I have not even used this makeup in at least a year. Why is this hard? I don't know. I'm gonna do the 10 seconds. You have 10 seconds to pull anything that you might wanna keep. Anything that's left goes, okay? So 10, nine, uh, eight. I really don't need any of this. Seven, that's the wrong shade. Six, five, four, three. No, it's too pink. Oh, it's too brown. Okay, the only thing I'm keeping is this. No regret, man, no regret. It hurts because you can't donate it. You, it. It's used makeup. It's a waste of money, but keeping it in my bathroom is just making me live that guilt and shame of purchasing it every time I look at it. So if you have makeup in your bathroom, that's the wrong shade that makes you feel guilty every time you look at it, it's toxic. It doesn't matter how much it was. It doesn't matter that it feels wasteful, that it's going in the trash. It's leaving your house right now. We can do this. The next thing on the list is worn out makeup brushes, which again is hard. Listen, I hope you're not just watching this and you're actually doing this with me. I'm being really vulnerable right now. I'm feeling really emotional. My anxiety is really high, but I feel like us doing this together, we can help each other. Whether you struggle with makeup and lotions or not, doing a declutter with somebody else and watching them struggle can help you let go too. I'm sweating. It's not from heat. It's from stress because now we're getting to the real crux of it for me. Makeup is hard, but also skincare products that didn't work. So I have really bad skin. I have acne and wrinkles and dry and rosacea and just so many things. I'm always looking for some magic potion that's going to fix it. I spend way too much money on them and then I have regret because it makes my skin worse or it doesn't work at all. And every time I open my bathroom cabinet, it's so filled with all of these expensive lotions that don't work. I'm just waking up every morning and feeling guilty and feeling bad about my skin. It's time to say goodbye to this toxic, toxic clutter. If I don't use it and love it, it doesn't belong in my bathroom. What? I don't know, it's gone. It's time for hair products you don't use to go. It goes without saying that I struggle with this. I mean, it goes without saying that I struggled. I have very thin hair and I'm always looking for something that's going to fix it and make it look better and not so fried. And yet I curl it every day so it's getting more fried. It's this vicious cycle of crazy pants. So I have so much hair products. I just, I have so many that just don't work. Like this volume injecting mousse, nope. This shine spray, no. Nope. This curling cream. Ugh. Can you tell I'm a ladybug and I don't take time to put things away? Look at all my curling irons and things of this nature. Again, I don't wrap up the cord, but so many of these I don't use. I thought I would be a wand person. I spent so much money on this wand. I've used it one time, it was awful. This one I feel like I could donate. I can donate the wand, but it's just making it harder to find the ones I actually use because look at this. I'm not alone, you guys. This just in. Colorbug is a total fraud. Oh, I spent so much money on this. But the wand barrel is so big, I don't use it. Oh, it hurts. Goodbye. The second I bought this stuff, I wasted the money because I'm not going to use it. I should have returned it. I didn't. Keeping it now isn't making me any richer. It's just wasting my space. They got to go. They got to go. The last thing on the list is old towels that are ripped or stained. But honestly, 
I don't really have that. I'm gonna tackle all the extra bobs and bips that are left in here. So you can tackle your towels or like me, you can be really ruthless with yourself with the things that you have that you don't use. So I have all these travel bags. I don't need this many. I actually use this all the time when I had longer hair and I had like the giant bun and the bump. Do you remember that? If you watch me for a while, no, just stop it. And also, all of these sock bun things need to go. This bird's nest, rat's nest, disgusting thing was an old favorite of mine where I, I would put it over my ponytail. <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> and why is it hard to let it go? I don't know. It's goodbye. Okay, so that was a roller coaster, wasn't it? But I'm feeling really good and I hope you are too. I hope you watch this again and you pause it and you actually get up and do the work. Get things out of your bathroom today. And remember, it isn't about even having less stuff, it's about having more self-esteem. Things in your bathroom bully you. The thing, the beauty products you're not using and loving are really just calling you names and making you feel bad about yourself every day that you look at them. And they're leaving your house today. It's hard. This was so hard, but we can do hard things. Declutter your bathroom right now. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I mean, I don't have a funny story for you, but I'm gonna be honest, this is so emotional for me. I was holding back tears about garbage that I don't even use or like, why is this so hard? It's just, it's insecurity. I keep seeing more that can go. Just <sighs> insecurity. That's what I see when I look at this. I see all the things that I bought to try to fix what I thought was broken and uh, it's just, sucks. It sucks to be reminded of it, but also I'm so glad that I did this because I'm actually like, I feel like this is going to change me shopping in the future. I had to feel the pain of getting rid of this stuff for it to really sink in of why I'm buying it in the first place and how it's not helpful to me at all. So I feel like this is going to help me not waste money on these type of things and just stick to the brands that I use and they're good enough, right? I'm good enough just the way, and there's nothing out there that's gonna fix my face, make me look younger, make me look prettier. Um, yeah, it's liberating. It's super liberating. So it's a weird end story. It's not funny, but I'm, I'm hoping you guys actually do this one. I really do. Maybe you're a person who doesn't wear makeup or do your hair or whatever. Maybe this isn't your struggle, but we all have something that's a trigger for us and it's coming from a space of insecurity. It might be your clothing, it might be shoes, whatever it is, I want you to rip that band-aid off right now. Let me know in the comments below what areas you struggle with. If it's also bathroom products like me or if it's different areas of your home, things that you've purchased for your fantasy self, thinking they were gonna fix a problem or solve a problem or make you feel better about yourself, but they only make you feel worse. I'm curious in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.